This is a five-year-old paint mare, pleasure horse mare, that uh, has got a cribbing problem. And the industry will tell you that it's all, you know, it's all because of boredom. That's not what the problem is here. So we're going to the front legs. You see how wide they are compared to the back. The back legs are close together. So that's telling you we have a filter system problem here. So, but I'm going to go down to the feet here, and you can see how big they are, big and round. Now, if you look in the back, back in here, and they're very narrow, and they're pointed. So, when they're, when they're narrow and pointed like this, and they're big in the front, that means they're putting all their weight forward, and they're not putting any pressure on the back feet. It's not the, it, the foot is, has everything to do with this, but we've got to go up higher. She's trying to lean forward to get off a filter system up here. Something up in this mare is bothering her, which is why she's cribbing. She's... she's uh, has a deficiency in her blood supply. So they're, if they're keeping their back legs close together, I mean they got pressure on here and it's clamping down on the filter system. So what we got to get this mare to do is stand wide in the hindquarters, take the pressure off the filter system, and let it, let it, uh, let the body start to clean itself out. And that's where this cribbing is coming from this mare. Something in this mare is bothering her so bad that she'll grab things and bite them. And what is she trying to grab for? Mineral content. And um, and I'm going to go back to these supplement problems here. Um, you know, this is an organic body. It has to have organic material. So what the, the minerals that work for these horses, um, they're, uh, they have to come to the plant material for, you know, for this body to dissolve it, so to utilize it. And so something up in here is bothering this mare, and she's got a bad habit of when she's ridden, she's always pushing forward, and she'll fight with you in the face. And that's because this hurts back in here. It's something this mare's body, she doesn't want you sitting on them. And so we have the kidneys, we have the kidneys, we have the liver. We also have, and this is a mare, we have ovaries sitting back in here. And if these muscles are clamping down on these ovaries where we get these bit, you know, so-called bitchy mares, this is the problem. So all we have to do is get these hind legs, and if I have a hip that's this wide, I want my legs to come down. I don't want a hip this wide and the back legs come together and what it is, like I said, you can't ask a horse to, to walk, jog, run barrels, jump fences, that type of deal, with their back legs close together. They have to wide those legs out, rock back, and, and go over the fence, or run barrels, or roping, or whatever it might be. So this mare, she's a pleasure horse mare, and, she's, and, and I'm just touching her here, and these muscles are just rock hard tight. So I know that they're contracting. She won't use them, and it explains why these back feet are so narrow. And another thing on this mare, you can see that you can see this line right here, right here, and it goes up and then it starts to drop down and it goes back around and goes, so we got a rise in here and then it drops down. That's your coffin bone. Pressure in the heels is pushing that, is building up with the pressure in the heels, is pushing that bone down. So we got to stop that. What, what's it trying to tell you is that the body is trying to get rid of the bacteria and it can't. And with all cribbing horses, I've shot a lot of them, they'll stop cribbing. It depends on their age and how long it takes. So she's pretty young, she should stop cribbing here in a little bit, in a little bit of time. And it could be a month, it could be a week, you know, that's up to her, providing we keep this filter system free and let it work properly. What I look for on a horse that's got problems right away. They'll, they'll, you can locate it where the problem's at. And so what I'm looking at, if I'm going to go look at a horse, and I'm going to look at these bulbs, both sides, and I'm going to look at the bulbs in the front, both sides. You want these bulbs to be wide apart. You can see where this frog's pushing down, frog in here is pushing down, and as a rule of thumb, it's just like people, if your fingernails are growing faster than your toenails, you're fairly healthy, there's nothing wrong. But when these back feet, when you're, if your toenails, or the, these toenails are growing longer and faster than the front, you can locate it, it's in your filter system. So I know this mare right here, it's in her filter system. There's something that's bothering her, and it could be in her liver, or kidneys, or pancreas, or ovaries. You know, there's a lot of things, but we don't know that until we do this, until we put shoes on this mare. So we're gonna track her off and watch how she tracks. Watch where she places, how, how she places her, front, her, her feet on the ground, and what does she do after the fact. So if she sets her feet down, does she set them down and twist, or she set them down and just drive off? So we're going to watch her track and go ahead and track her. Now, and I'm watching her track, see how she's 
dragging that, and you look the left hind leg, see how she keeps pushing it, pu pushing it right up underneath the center of that front foot. See how her right goes to the outside, but her left is going to the inside. So we know where her problem's lying at right now. It's on her left hand side filter system. We'll watch her come back to us. We'll turn her around. And see how when she walks, see how she really doesn't want to set them down? She kind of just, she'll, she'll ju she just picks it up and she's trying to place it and slap it on the ground. So the more she picks it up like that, she's not trying to, she doesn't want to put any pressure on that filter system. That's where the problem's lying on this mare. So she acts like she's very stiff in the hindquarters, and it's not the stiffness. It means that her filter system up there, like I said, where it is, it's hurting her. And on top of that on this mare, if we can come this way, you can see, um, case in point, flies will always tell you where the problem is on an animal. And we got flies up on her back, right up on her spinal column. So a, a, an insect will tell you exactly where the problem's at because they're there to to clean up the waste material that comes through the sweat glands and all that. And so I know, and that's where whenever you see flies on your horse, um, they'll always go to the infected area. So I know this mare's been coming in heat a lot. They've been hanging out up in this area where ovaries are at. Plus she's got a kidney problem. Um, and it shows how she's walking. She walks very stiff in the hindquarters. So, and like I say, they'll, the flies will always go back to where the problem's lying, which is where they're at right now. We've got three of them on her now. Ovaries are hurting this mare. That's why she's walking stiff in the hindquarters. And they're just working their way up in here and we'll just get them out of here. So that's what we're gonna do with her. We're gonna fix this problem. And you wanna watch where she's placing her hind feet. See how they're almost landing to the outside of the front foot. So immediately you've taken the pressure off the hips. And now let the body do its work. And that's, you can see where she's tracking here. How she's like stepping to the outside of the front feet. And that'll get better with time. Give her another week or two and she'll start widening out. You're taking the pressure off those muscle tissue. And so as she's walking to you, so as she's stepping with the right hind, how it's coming to the outside of the front foot. The left hind going to the outside of the front foot. And like I say, within a week's time, she'll start stepping way out there way wide in the hindquarters and take the pressure off the filter system. And this is how you correct this problem.